I always forget, but I'm assuming they didn't conceive. I always thought maybe that's what popped up at first, and then eventually shows that they conceive by the time like April is over, but I really can't remember. So anyways, we have a little bit of pressure here today with Violet Deanna, because we don't have the luxury of just chilling at the back and just finishing wherever and hitting our goal. We actually have to beat two horses. Granted, I'm not worried, because we've already been doing that. So we actually have to beat two horses. So I will have to make sure I manage your stamina properly. I don't want to mess it up. If I do, then we'll, we'll be finishing it last. So don't want to do that. But yeah, I'll check on the others in the breeding. I'll just continue to do it for the rest of April. It can't hurt because I really can't remember. And I'm not live streaming and I can't ask you guys. I mean, I can, but obviously while I'm recording, I won't get an answer back. So I'm just going to have to just try breeding them every week. Just to make sure, because I, I just genuinely can't remember. I can't remember if it just shows that they don't conceive initially, and then it does eventually after a couple of weeks. Or if that means they actually failed, and the broodmare can't conceive, and then there's something else. I can't remember. So I'm just going to just do it every week, essentially, until the end of April, because I can't remember. And I would not want to take the risk of messing it up now. I can't really do anything here. We're just kind of stuck. Like, I can't move anywhere. We're really stuck. You know, I would maybe like to try to find some space down here along the rail if I can. Okay, we can. Cool. Now, of course, I'm going to have to hope that the horse in front eventually gets out of the way. But we should be okay. Not a lot of stamina, of course. We're working on that. It's going to take time still, but... It's, it's getting better. I remember it used to be a couple bars lower than where it's at now as far as it's back. So she's definitely still... She's still growing. She's only three. She's not going to be at her best till she's six. So we have plenty of time. No, I don't know where to go. Okay, the AI is just doing weird things as usual. Here's a gap. Move. Alright, plenty, plenty of juice in the tank. I think she can get past a couple of these horses. Heck yeah, let's go. Good run. Good run from Violet Deanna. We're going to beat two horses. We're going to beat three horses. Very good. Wasn't worried. As long as we had some space to make a move, wasn't worried. We hit our goal. Consistency continues as we wait. Because that's all we can really do. Just race and wait with her. <laughs> we got six. Another three years left. Two and a half years probably before she really starts showing um, you know, her real potential. At least two, two and a half years at the minimum. Lee's Gold is up, another G2. She's been pretty good in these, pretty solid uh, with these Grade 2 events. So, she's got to finish second or higher. The th kind of another tough field, man. Realistically, the top seven horses all have a realistic chance of winning. That always makes these races like... I see the favorite. You guys see who the favorite is and look at the horse's name. If it's not familiar to you, well... I can't blame you because I've lost a lot of my girls. The favorite here today is uh, Zodiac Queen. Zodiac Queen used to be our horse, our filly that we lost. Like, so many horses we've lost in the game. Just look at her abilities. My favorite ability, Spurt, Last Corner Leader, Grit, from Arty Crop by the Night Breeze. She's the favorite here today. We just recently lost her. Like, she's only four. We just lost her, I think, a year ago. Ah... <sighs> I, just, I hate that the game doesn't even give you a chance to get your horses back. Sometimes people have made the arguments, oh, this and this, this is why it happens. Okay, that's fine, but you should. we should still have a chance to, to have another ride on them. It just gives you, I mean, once you lose them, it's just like, that's it. It's over. There's no chance of redemption. Zero. That's broken. At least give you a chance to get the horse back, and then if you can't get it back after that, that chance been okay but again the game doesn't even really give you a chance to get a horse back even if you lose it based off of one mediocre or bad result so that that's you know that's frustrating and there she is right there to the left of us running our old silks that is a cool thing though about this game with your originals whatever silks you were racing at that time that's the silks that'll stay on that horse even if you lose it and the ai start running with it it's cool to know you can kind of see your old silks here Kind of is like a throwback thing. But yeah, it's, you know, just a bummer. We've lost so many fillies. So many. Now, I know she would prefer to be further back, but I'm just going to kind of keep her here because, like, where else am I supposed to really go? I'm not going to hold her up too much. 
She's fine. I don't think she's overexerted herself. It's not ideal, but we can still win. Or we can still finish where we need to finish. Now, the field is really far up there. I want these horses to kind of move in. Yeah, I want to move want them to move in so I can move out. That's exactly what I really wanted. I didn't like where we were. Okay, this is where the race is won. Okay, kind of get her going downhill a little bit. Get her going. Get her going. We have a long way to go to get towards the front. Pretty long way. Just gonna kind of let her coast up. Let her coast. Let her coast. Here we go. And they're in the home stretch. Show your gut. Here we go. We blast past the ten. Still a long way to go. We gotta catch the one. I don't know what is happening here. I don't know if we're getting tired or forces are catching us. I have no idea what's happening. It's close. It's close. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. We still got second, which is what I needed. That was really close. But I told you, that was going to be a pretty close race. The top seven that were supposed to finish in the top seven could have easily finished first. And as you can see, Clear Charm, fifth favorite, ends up winning. Uh, we finished in second where we should have. The horse that was supposed to finish seventh finished third. The favorite, Zodiac Queen, finished fourth. Awesome Autumn finished third. Uh, fifth, excuse me, was supposed to finish third. And then a the horse that finished seventh was supposed to finish sixth. So, like I said, there was a lot of horses that really could have won that race. Course loss, whatever. We did what we needed to do. Did what we needed to do. That was really close, but again, I thought that was a pretty competitive field. So, it wasn't like that race was going to be a walk in the park for us. But we hit our goals. That's all we need to do. So, I'm going to try the breeding again. Because again, like I just I have nobody else to really refer to to get an immediate result or answer. So I, I kind of just have to do this just out of whatever and just hope that maybe you know it does work. Pink gemstone back up here today. Everybody else ready to go. But yeah, I don't know if it it be like so they're not old. And either of the brew mares are old, I don't think. They're not. Let me let, let's check. Maybe I'm crazy. She's nine. She's she's still not that old. And she's eight. They, they aren't even that old. I mean, Suave Buster literally just retired a year ago. So they're not old. So that's why I'm not understanding, like, what's going on? What 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 is the issue? You know what I mean? It's concerning. I'm, I'm, I just can't remember. Maybe they, maybe it will work and it just doesn't show up till later. But I swear to you, it's like showing no partner. That's concerning. Suave Buster and and Lester saying they're well. See, then it's confusing because if compatibility does matter, then that means Suave Buster and It's a Ghost would have conceived because a little jockey racer mascot said, "Oh, compatible." So look, we'll do Suave Buster, and then we'll do It's a Ghost, and he'll say they're compatible. So if it was a matter of compatibility, then they she should conceive. So like I said, I, I don't know if it's just a matter of me hey, still having to wait two weeks or if the game's actually kind of broken in that regards. I don't know. Because I could totally hear a comment saying, well, it's a compatibility thing. Well, the game just told me the compatibility is fine. So if that's not it, then what else am I supposed to do? I don't want to breed them. I don't want to breed those pairs with somebody else. We've, we've already done those a gazillion times. I'd be really annoyed if I couldn't kind of have the flexibility of using the different breeding pairs I want to use. I'd be really annoyed if the game is forcing me to only breed certain horses. That's not fun. More lax goal here. We can finish in last and be fine. Our stamina is so bad though. 34. I know it's slightly increasing, but I mean, it's still bad. I swear it's gone maybe up, what, one or two points, if that. At least one or two points, but that's pretty much it now that I think about it. But like I said, we still have two years until she starts showing what she can really do, so it's going to be a long time with her. But, like I said, we're in rhythm. But what I probably will actually start doing, I'm going to start spacing her races out. It doesn't really make sense to race her as much as we are now. I'll start giving her a longer layoffs between races so you know it may be three or four months I'll, I'll wait until the last minute like now if, she, if it's gonna show that she's gonna be upset because she waited too long to race and why I won't do that but I'll get as close to that as possible basically I get as close to that as possible um, yeah that's ideally my goal 
I'm gonna move her over here because I don't I just don't want to have to be bothered with trying to get through those horses in the stretch. So yeah, I'll probably race her every three months. Depends how soon she'll get impatient, but I hope every three will be good. Because yeah, it doesn't really make sense to race her as much as we are now. Because we're not going to be in a position to okay. win most this of these races race yet. Eventually we will, I know we will, but right now, since she's still growing, like, it's just not going to happen. So let's not waste too much time racing with her as often as we are. Now I'm going to wait a little bit because I want to see so your guts. what happens here with her. And they're in the home stretch. Let's see if she can get past anybody without already being ahead of them. Because most of the time we finish against horses, I started her spur pretty early. But let's see where she actually finishes. She might get past a horse or two at the wire. No, no. Close enough. All right. Just wanted to see how she would run if she was behind horses. I, I wanted to see if she was capable of catching up. No worries. I mean, Spur wasn't great, but like I said, I, I intentionally did something different with my Spurt there. All right. The Cherry Cup. It is three-year-old fillies. Full, full field of 14. Running eight for loans on the turf and Gemstone, we're, we're, you know, we have to finish 8th or higher. And ideally, anything better than that would be great for her. Because again, I don't think she's at the, the grade 1 level yet. I don't think she's... When I say at the grade 1 level, I mean, I don't think she's at the level yet of winning grade 1. She can clearly run in these fields and not finish in last. It's, that's very obvious. But she's not at that level yet where she can start winning them. And I'm, because she's still developing, I don't know when that's going to come. It might not come till next year or maybe when she's a five-year-old. But, but I think we're getting there, obviously. She's showing consistency across the board. So we're definitely getting closer to that point with her. I say give it another year. And we should start to be in that position where we can finally win our first grade one. If it doesn't happen before that, I'm just saying. We can always win... Any race we enter. It's just a matter of if it's gonna happen. She's very calm. She's a very calm, even tempered horse. And that's what I like about her. Like she doesn't really get too flustered. She's tough when she needs to be. And like I said, she's very consistent. I mean it's it's lovely to be on a horse that's consistent and you don't have to have many worries about. I can't remember which horse it was that I had, and every race with him I had to worry if he was gonna run as well as he could and dominate and blow the field away or if he was going to somehow just get flustered by one little thing. I, I don't like that about horses in this game. So I like the consistent ones like Pink Gemstone here. I will take these type of horses any day over the super talented double S ranked horses. I guess it just doesn't really fit for my play style depending on what's happening. These type of horses can and sometimes I can take them from being average horses to really good ones. You know what I mean? And that just apparently works for my play style, so I figure why go away from that? That's what really works for me. It's a different way of playing, and yeah, okay, it requires a little bit more grinding, and it takes more time to get up to that dominant level, but that it's enjoyable. And it, it's enjoyable and it keeps the game fun for me, for sure. Like I said, at that time where we were just racing in grade ones and just kind of dominating left and right, it, the game was getting a little bit boring to me, that's why I wouldn't play so it for a while. Gone. Let's see what she can do. She gets a good runoff here. Very good runoff into the home stretch. Furlong and a half left to go. Pink Gemstone, she's still fighting. She's still fighting. Now let's see. Grit is unlocked. Can she kick away? Can she kick away? This is going to be tough. It's going to come down to the wire. Oh, man. We just, just barely lost it by a nose. We almost won that race. I'm talking about when she's going to win her first G1. That was extremely close. She really is. Everything I just described about her, that's literally what she is. She's a very consistent, tough filly. Finally. Of course. like we, we haven't had a bad race with her. Period. We haven't. She continues to show her consistency, and I love that about her. I absolutely love it. Second place in a grade one. Almost won that one. Almost won it, man. So I'm hoping when she's at her peak, 
whenever she's going to be at her best, like, we will be winning those races. She's really, she, she's close. I said it earlier before we even raced with her. She's really close. She truly is. Now, like I said, uh, Violet Deanna. Deanna. Violet Deanna. I said I was going to call her. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll wait until this point to race her. Put her in an uh, 8 furlong open. Because like I said, I mean, we don't have to really race her as much as we have been. So let's give her three months in between races. Because I am I feel confident with her. The gemstone, off of that result, she moves up to an A that quickly. So I, I know race results can dictate your horse is moving up in rank. So she's now on par with King B. And I say, why not? Why shouldn't she be? She's been very consistent. Very consistent. Despite her stats maybe on paper not looking like she can be that horse. She is turning into that horse. She is turning into that very consistent filly that eventually is going to win a grade one. Nine lifetime starts and five times she's finished in the top three already. Like I said, her mother was okay with Night Breeze. You know, night, but that's the thing. Night Breeze was very consistent. That's why I liked that 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 filly. That's why I turned her into a broodmare. She was a very consistent horse. She didn't always win and dominate in big races, but any time anywhere I would put her, she would finish well and do it consistently. And that is what I mean by when I say I like to experiment with breeding because that characteristic from Night Breeze, however it was programmed into her, it has carried over to her daughter, Pink Gemstone, who you just witnessed finish second place when she was supposed to finish eight in that grade one field. Those are the things I like to look for, hence why sometimes I will, I will retire horses that aren't S-ranked horses for breeding. Because for me, at least, when I play this game, those characteristics seem to carry over. Her mother was a very consistent horse. She is showing the same consistency. And they want her in the Golden Oaks at 12 furlongs. I mean, I'm not going to go out of out of the way of what the game is putting uh, or suggesting us to race with her because it's been working. So I don't even want to go against the grain right now. Sure, I could figure out other races to put her in if I want her to, but she's still developing. So until she's officially like at her peak... I would much rather just kind of let the game decide what races I think she's capable of running, and we'll continue to run her in those races because I feel confident with her. And I'm, yeah, I feel like we clearly have developed a solid level of consistency with her, so I'm not concerned, honestly. King B is up again. Third in today's Azalea Cup is where the market has us. The full field of 14. Top three is going to be the goal. It's all the boys, all the three-year-old boys running 10 furlongs. Top three. I hope he's ready to go to here today. Got to make sure I do not mess this one up with him. It's going to be a longer race, so I want to really make sure we manage his stamina properly. I can't afford to have him gassing out at the last half furlong. That's been happening to me a lot, obviously, which is a clear sign that I haven't been managing my horse's stamina properly throughout the duration of the race. On top of not timing my spurts properly. And again, the spurt ratings, rankings are probably getting those bad grades because my horses and those performances were tiring out with still, you know, half a furlong left to go. Obviously, that's not going to help. So, got to improve on that. And part of that, to me, starts with making sure I manage my horses stamina properly throughout the beginning stages of the race. And they're off. Okay, so an okay start. Hopefully the field isn't running at 9,000 miles an hour at the front, because we always get that in those these type of races, it seems. Now, make sure he uh, stays back. This should be pretty good. I, I still would actually prefer for him to be running a little bit behind. Because this isn't a fast pace to me, so I think he's okay with where he's at right now. This is pretty ideal. Yep, this is pretty ideal. If we can keep this pace and time our spurt right, we could very well win this race. We really should, honestly. I mean, I think King B is good enough. He's also been very consistent. Now, this downhill slope, he's going to want to gun in, and he is impatient if he's running too slow, so I have to be careful. But I think we're managing it pre pretty well here. Making sure he doesn't get too too away from himself. 
because he'll just send it, you know what I mean? He'll just absolutely send it. He definitely prefers to run faster than where we have him. That's where his temper obviously comes into play. Two sevens, though, looking solid so far. Revolution would definitely put this race away for us. And I notice, yeah, I would be starting my spurts a lot quicker. I'd be starting my horses way far back. Man. Now we can get him going. Let's roll. Let's roll, man. No revolution. It's fine. King B is fast. He is a fast horse. He is a very, very, very fast horse. Come on, man. Dig in. Dig in, brother. Get up there. Oh, man. Well, whoever that horse is deserved to win because, golly, we were rolling with King B. Oh, so close. So, so, so close. I'm sure if obviously I was closer. Who won that? Power Runner? Well, that was the favorite. I don't feel so bad because we were really rolling there with King B. I mean, my goodness. He's, <laughs> he is definitely a fast boy. That is for sure. Like I said, he's been consistent. I know we've had the off bad race with him every blue moon where I just, just kind of messed it up there a little bit but for the most part he's been very consistent very solid and uh i would say compared to it's a ghost who we just retired for breeding the gray i, th I think king b has definitely obviously achieved more uh throughout his racing career and obviously he's still racing he's still unlocking his potential but i think so far even though he hasn't been in the big great ones yet besides this one He's definitely shown much more consistency, so I'm hoping that obviously is going to continue. And then, I mean, we were so close to winning that race. We're going to win G1s with King B. We could get a Horse of the Year with King B at some point. This year, it depends. I, I don't know. Because, I mean, we were third favorite in that race. We definitely could have won it. We were so close to winning it. I mean, you make that race happen for long longer. We're definitely getting that horse probably at the wire. Um, but yeah, like I said, uh, King B definitely, if it's not this year, it's next year. Right? He'll definitely win some grade ones, and that could put him on pace for horse of the year eventually. We got a really wide runoff here, because he were way out there. But man, his speed. Can't really see him now. The camera angles are so janky sometimes. But now, at the bottom of your screen, you'll kind of see him rolling up. He's steam rolling up, steam rolling up, but the three on the inside was rolling up too. So either way, it was going to be close. Yeah, just tch. gotta admit the the favorite power runner. He he showed his power. He was able to stay out there pretty strong, and uh, we we just could not catch him. So hats off to the favorite for winning, but a great result there for King B. And right back out of here with Crafty Gift. Um, I said I wasn't gonna run him in this race as I was preparing to retire him, but because I don't know if Pale Fear and and B or even on a conceive. Uh, I'm gonna hold on to Crafty Gift. I mean, we should win this race. It's a G2. We've been able to win these, so um, so we should be able to win this. But we do have the winner place. But I, I need to win it. I don't even want to think of with the mindset of like coming in second. The are in the game. And then yeah, we just, like I said, I would still like to read Pale Fear, you know, with one of the premieres at least once, but. I don't know if they're going to conceive. I'm sure some of you that already know are probably screaming and, and inside your head. I, trust me, it's just, if there's a way that technology in the world could allow me to know what you guys are going to say before I even upload this video, that'd be fantastic. But I just can't. I can't know. I can't know. It's like I can't stop the video because like any answer I would get is still not going to come until a while. <laughs> A full 24 hours after this video is uploaded is the earliest I could receive any answers, so I just kind of have to just wing it again. No. Yeah, I, uh, I was going to say, okay. a lot of horses are kind of running a little bit wild here. Alright. So, two sevens. We got a revolution, that'd be nice. Not, we're still not running him that hard either. We don't really need to. Show your gut. Now we need to get him going. It's a little bit late of a start, but it's fine. we will dig in. I hope. I think I did the last, the same thing last time, and it took us forever to catch up. But he's driving now. He's driving now. It's gonna be close. Come on, Crafty, get up there, man. I think we're just gonna get. We just got there. Oh my goodness. I started too late that time. I know I started way too late. 
Thank goodness that horse absolutely just tired out at the end. <laughs> oh, I almost messed that up. Like I said, I, I, I'm kind of ready. I'm just, I want to retire this horse. I know I could still win with him if I wanted, but I, I really want to use him for breeding. That was close. Really close. And they gave us a double S on the spurt. I, I personally think I timed that way too late because I almost did. We almost didn't catch that horse. We almost didn't catch that horse at all. And we should have been ahead by at least two lengths by the time we crossed the wire. Not by like a, a, a you know, half a length. So, really close. Do they want him in another race? They want him in this Saints Cup. I, I'm not doing that. I, I don't want to risk it with him. I really don't. Um, and again, I, I'm just going to put him in a race I don't have to really think too hard about. Because I'm not trying to risk it. Just not trying to risk it. Now they want King B in the Golden Derby. I say let's go for it. Because, like, why not? So the response is 48. Finally revealed he likes 11 distance at the longest. 85 speed, man. He really is fast. We saw that speed from him. And that is Alia Cup. He really is a fast horse. So, finally. And obviously it makes sense. Desert Diver and MB were both very fast. So, finally. Good stuff. Good stuff happening. Um, now, again, I'm going to try breeding one more time because they still haven't conceived. Nothing has changed. So I am worried. It should be weird because then it's like, again, the game told me that they're supposed to be compatible, but then they're not conceiving. It just doesn't make sense. This is my last week to try. It's a ghost will still be here, so with Aunt B, I'm gonna try her and Pale Fear again. Just it or does it not matter after this? I tried it and it just did not work. Like, look at it this way. If I try Suave Buster and Well, if I have it set to auto, I know it's not gonna work right away. Just go back to manual. If I try Suave Buster and I don't know, Western Tiger. Like, I just, I feel like, I mean, yeah, it's compatibility. I'm pretty sure most of these horses should be compatible, but nothing's happening. I'm fearful they just did not conceive this year, which, again, they're not even that old. What other reason is it for them not conceiving at this point? You know what I mean? <sighs> Let's see. I don't think they conceived. That would be really, really disappointing. It's just a wasted year. Yeah, they didn't conceive. So, <laughs> the game tells me that, that, you know, it's compatible breeding pairs. Even when I change the, it just, I mean, he said Suave and It's a Ghost were compatible. And it uh, doesn't make sense. Is it the studs? Is it is it the boys? I mean, wh wh what could it be? Pale Fear has been here for a while. And It's a Ghost, I, I just retired here but that shouldn't matter I've, re I've retired horses and bred them within their first years you know what i mean so it just doesn't make sense even it really doesn't it's disappointing that means it's just a year of no foals for us or is that, is that because we don't have enough spots that wouldn't make sense the previous year we had two one-year-olds and three you know i mean they, they were yearlings i don't even i just i don't understand it doesn't make sense now we have three one-year-olds and doesn't make sense. Clearly, we could have probably more space if we needed it. So that, that's why I'm confused. And again, there's nothing I can do now because breeding season is effectively over. That does it for today's episode. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.